Another website that was really helpful for me throughout all of my coursework, as well as with my dissertation writing, was the website RecyteWorks. Um, this will check your references once you have your paper written and will help you figure out um, specifics for your form and formatting. So when you pull up the website, this is what it looks like. You want to come to the right here and log in. You can create a free account with a Google account or something else. So I've already logged in and this is what will come up. Um, you can check your references. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up one of my papers. Okay, you can upload or you can paste your document. Make sure you check it as APA 7th edition. Let's go digging in the files to see if we can find something. Let's go into system thinking um, and the learning organizations paper that I wrote what feels like a thousand years ago. And you're going to just click on check. Give it a couple of minutes and then it's going to bring up a couple of things. It's going to flag any insight cita in text citations. You'll see there's 17 issues out of the 36 that are in this paper. And then it's going to flag issues in your references. There. So there are six out of 14. So let's expand this. Just select the arrow. And you can see there's an issue here with the date. I'm going to ignore this because this is the date of my paper. Um, this one, there is a mismatch here. In my paper, I referenced Pawar as 2015, and in the references, it says 20, uh, 2005. So I would need to go back and check that article to make sure which is the correct date, and then either fix the references or fix my in-text citation. Okay. This third one here, there's an author mismatch. They are looking for that little um, accent mark above Leon. Um, and if you don't know how to do that in Word, you can Google that or search that. Or maybe I'll do another video at some point. I don't know. Um, same thing with number four. It's flagging the same thing. So you could do a control find to fix all of those. Uh, number five, it looks like there is a misspelling. So you just want to double check to make sure looks like I'm missing the G there. Okay. Number six, it's a style warning. When I wrote the paper, I used the ampersand. Um, and because it's outside the parentheses, I should type out the word and instead of the ampersand. You would only use the ampersand in the reference section. So I need to go back and fix that. Um, number seven, again, I've misspelled uh, Zelman or Zelmer Bruin, so I need to go back and fix that. And then there's another style warning here. Um, these should be in alphabetical order. So I need to switch. Uh, Zoltan et al. should come after. I'm going to destroy this author's name, but the author's name that starts with S. Okay. Uh, Schuling and Klug, I did the ampersand again. There's a mismatch to the year here. So again, I would need to check this article. So you get what I'm pointing out and how RecyteWorks will help you figure out uh, any changes or things that you need to correct in text. So this is just in text. Now let's look at what they flagged in the reference section. So if you open this section up, Bresman and Zelmer dash Bruin, it's not found in the document. And the reason why that is, is because in the previous section, I had misspelled Zelmer's name. So once I fix that, this issue should go away. Okay. There's not an issue with Edson. There's not an issue with Evans. It's referenced in the document. Um, this one is not found in the document. Again, this is because I misspelled it in the paper. So I'll go back and fix that. That should be fine. Uh, this one's fine. Number six, it says possible match because there's an issue with the date. And that was flagged in the previous section. So when I fix that and check the date, it will be fine. It's flagging Singy, and you'll see this little down arrow. It's because it's out of alphabetical order. Schilling and Klug should come before Singy in your reference list. Okay, so when you see these arrows, it'll tell you you need to move it up or down. Um, as far as alphabetical order. Okay. Uh, 12, 
This one is being flagged. Um, so you just want to check. It looks like it's flagging another possible match. So you just want to see where you quoted Weiss and Burke 2019 in the paper and see what the issue is. It's also saying this is out of alphabetical order. Okay. And then Wick and Leon, it's saying it's not found in the document because you need that accent over the word, or I need the accent over Leon. Okay. So once you go back and fix those, save your paper and then run it through again, and you should come back with uh, zero issues. It'll list everything out for you uh, in your reference list. Everything should be green and there should be no issues flagged up here in your in-text citations. Okay. This is a great tool. Um, this is especially helpful when you're getting ready to turn in your dissertation to form and formatting. You want to make sure you run it through, check all of your in-text citations, check all of your references, and make sure those are clean and fixed and run it through as many times as you need to um, because that will trip you up when you get to form and formatting. But use this tool even when you're writing your papers during your coursework. Use this tool, get comfortable with it, and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of heartache.